good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today ladies and gentlemen we have vlog series number two or my damn vlogs episode number two here and i'm just hanging out it's actually let me look at the clock right now it is it is indeed it is 5 a.m it's 5 a.m right now you guys see that yeah 5 a.m i just stayed up all night filming not filming editing vindication episode 16 i'm hoping it goes up tonight not looking good right now i guess you know we'll figure out that you know how the, how that turned out for you guys but i think i'm like eight minutes into the show or seven minutes and it took me it probably took me eight hours just to edit that first seven minutes you guys will find out later on why but at the moment of recording you guys don't really know why but i'm sure you guys will enjoy it let's flip around the camera because i want to show you guys what i picked up my boy rodney rko 1970 sent me a great package. So I guess we can start off this vlog with what I got out of the package. So from my boy Rodney, I did buy another Elite 64 Seth Rollins. Let's go ahead and get the focus going. So there is Elite 64 Seth Rollins. You know, nothing nothing too crazy with that one. We also did also pick up a Top Talent Seth Rollins. Now the, uh, the crazy thing about this is he kind of threw these in. I don't think that I paid for these. He just kind of gave me a deal on a bunch of figures and he kind of threw in some extras. So this is part of the deal here. He also gave me the Elite 65 Roman Reigns. This is mainly one of the big things of the deal was the Roman Reigns. So we got the Roman Reigns with the very nice head sculpt. We also got an Elite 56 Roman Reigns with that same head sculpt. He threw in two more Roman Reigns head sculpts with, you know, the pissed off face. Got to put the hoe on camera, idiot. So we did get two more of those head sculpts, which are very, very nice. He also threw in some extra fodder of Roman Reigns, and we got the legs to go on the Elite 56. We also got, there's the, there's the second head sculpt right there, and then here is the rest of the fodder right there. So very nice package. Huge shout out to my boy Rodney, RKO 1974. And the last figure he threw in was this Top Talent Sven Balor, which is really, really nice. I'm actually taking a break from editing Vindication right now. So that's what it's looking like. Very epic. So excited for you guys to see the show. There's my brother's figure still. Now this was probably one of the coolest things about the package that Rodney sent us. We have this custom Jeff Hardy Willow coat right here with the skulls on it. Huge shout out to Rodney, man. That was so awesome of him to send us that. I gotta get my brother's glasses and hat out of here before we ruin something. But it looks fantastic. You guys know I do have my Willow Jeff Hardy all the way up there. And so this is going to look really good on there. He also sent us some other shirts which are going to look great. We have the OGBC Finn Balor shirt as well as the Rainbow Logo shirt. We also have this like Batman Demon Wing Red Finn Balor shirt. He also threw in the blue one. I actually own this one so that's pretty cool. I own that t-shirt. Very nice tee. Fits me like a glove and I can't wait to put this on some of our custom Finn Balors. I'm so happy that Rodney did this and we have a custom Raw shirt. Have have a ton of those already. Got one with the Drew McIntyre and I had some customs made so these are great. I can't wait to see you know what we use these for but I figured you guys would want to see this. I didn't want to make a My Damn Hauls out of just this package so I did get this from Rodney. I got the excellent figures over here as well as the cloth stuff over there and uh, I also got my second Bray Wyatt Basic Series 111 or whatever the hell that is. So that's very nice but I don't really know what we're going to do on this vlog. I know that I'm going hooping later tonight. Your boy likes to hoop. I'm a huge basketball fan Always played basketball since like 7th grade. Always been a basketball fan. Didn't start playing basketball. Organized, you know, competitively in a league or for a school until I was like 12. So I'm hyped to hoop tonight. We're going to show off some of the Kobe collection, some of the shoe collection in this video, I'm sure. And I'll show you guys what shoes I'm rocking tonight. And then I'll, I'll probably, I'll, I'll try and film some of the hoop sesh. I doubt it, but we'll see how that goes. What else we got over here? Oh, we got some Roman Reigns hands as well. So there you go. But yeah, we're just going to hang out, see how this vlog goes. I'm about to get back to editing Vindication, but for the rest of the day, I'll show you guys what we're going on and hopefully I can get this ish finished. We also have some stuff going up on eBay very soon so definitely stay tuned for that. We got some customs and stuff and we're probably going to add to it. I still have yet to put those AJ's up just because I've been trying to work on the show. You know the uh, AJ Styles customs took a back seat but anyways guys I'm going to get back to editing. Just wanted to take a quick break, film this little segment for the vlog and I'll see you guys later on in the vlog and hopefully Vindication episode 16 did end up going out on Thursday sometime but I got a lot of more work to do so I'm just going to get back to that and I'll see you guys in the next segment of the vlog. Alright guys, so in the last clip, I don't even remember what I was saying. I think I was editing Vindication. The show has been posted. It is now Saturday morning on this next segment of the vlog that we're doing right now. And, you know, I, I was going to go hoop that night. You remember I was going to show off the shoe collection a little bit. Going to go hoop that night. Ended up getting canceled. And so I tried to go play somewhere else. That place was closed. It was just a big ordeal. I'd been up 30 plus hours. It was very crappy. So now it is Saturday morning and uh, I think I'm about to make a target run. Let's see what time it is right now. It 
it is 9.47 a.m. on Saturday morning, and I guess I'm probably about to head to Target with Wife and JoJo. That's for the uh, SmackDown draft video, or the draft video. We, we made the thumbnail for that. Got a lot of stuff going on right here. I'm about to post some stuff on eBay. There's the stuff that we showed you in the first clip. Uh, just a little shot of the collection right there, but let's go in here. Let's go, let's go to the fam. Oh my god. JoJo. JoJo. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you insane? So he's like obsessed with this vacuum. It's a little rainbow vacuum. He's obsessed with it. So Yeah, say I love that. But anyways, I think we're about to head to Target. So I'll uh, see you guys in the next segment. Alright guys, so the, I think the last clip that you guys saw was me about to head to Target, but we actually went and they didn't have a John Brown thing. I'll pull up on the screen what they exactly had. They had a ton of Bobby Heenan. They had a ton of Ronda Rousey, Miss Elizabeth, some basics maybe, but it was mainly garbage, so I didn't even film in there. I was really disappointed with what they had, but what I'm going to do now is I am going to go to Target. This is a few days later. We are going to go to Target. We're going to find out what they got. I'm on the hunt for the Eddie Guerrero Legends, the Ultimate Warrior, all that stuff. I am on the search for for that so maybe we'll end up finding some of it i'm very excited to find those figures god i want that eddie guerrero man that that one right there the ultimate warrior in the suit's pretty nice i'd like to get that for maybe some suited guys and things of that nature but yeah man we're gonna head to target now and we're gonna see what they got i'll probably record that on my phone i guess my this camera is about to freaking die so that's just excellent but yeah i don't really know what to do with this vlog i know we kind of our plans have kind of been crappy here they keep running into walls but this video over here you guys see the three ufc figures i am going to review these two figures I don't know if this video is going to be up. Hopefully these videos will be up, but we are going to be reviewing these two figures right here. We got Max Holloway. So we are going to review both of those figures and maybe those video, that video will be up in the next few days. I just have them set up right here, ready to go. Here's a tripod. This tri I need a new tripod. We need to buy a new tripod at Target, to be honest with you, but we'll see about that. Also going to swing by the post office because I got some stuff to ship out. But anyways, guys, yeah, I'll uh, see you in the next segment. All right, guys, here we are at Target. Let's see what we got right here. And nothing besides these basics. Basic 112. Oh, oh, God. Basic series. We got the Monday Night Messiah. I mean, that's that's these. We got Bobby Trashley, Adam Cole, Braun Strowman. It doesn't look like they have the full set, but the elites are the exact same. I mean, I don't, I don't know what to say. Sasha Banks looks cheap AF. What's up with Sasha Banks and cheap figures, man? I feel like every Sasha they make is cheap. Seth, though. I mean, if the head scope were different, maybe I'd pick it up. I just don't. I, you know, there's no point in grabbing the basics. Look at Adam Cole. I mean, Adam Cole, dude. Look at the neck. Everyone destroyed this figure in the community, but I don't see any legends, man. You got the deal going on right here. Spend 50, get 10 off. Spend 100, get 25 off. I mean, that's pretty decent, but there's, there's no legends. I don't see any legends up in here. I don't see anything. I mean, we're going to walk around here. I'm going to see if we have anything else in here. I know there was a guy looking at Hot Wheels or something, but I don't know. We're going to we're going to see if we can find the Legends figures. I don't think they have them though. Like I looked it up on Pop Finder on Brickseek, they didn't have them. You know, no no code is popping up for the figure at all. So I don't know what to do. I mean, they got plenty of Marvel Legends. Look at how many Deadpool 2 packs they have. You got a ton of Deadpool 2 packs. You got Wolverine. I really want to grab that Wolverine. You got Mystique. Got some more two packs. Just overflowing with the two packs, though, for real. I want to buy this Wolverine so John Brown bad, but I just don't know. Like, I love that movie growing up, but I don't know. Like, I'm a huge Wolverine fan, but I don't know if I want to pull the trigger. But yeah, tons of Marvel Legends, tons of the two packs. Like, it's kind of crazy how many how many two packs we have. Not only of the Deadpool, but of other characters as well, the comic two packs. But I don't see any Legends here. Pretty disappointing. I'm by myself today, by the way, in this Target, but, you know, nothing else, man. You got the Slambulance and Garbage. All right, guys, so I don't know what you guys last saw, but anyways, I'm going to end the vlog right here, but I did want to show you guys a quick look at the MDT sneaker collection or shoe collection right here. So I have my closet open. I hang up. These are kind of just my casual shoes or just shoes that I would wear to church or something of that nature. You know, everyday shoes. I also have like three or four pair by the door that I'll just slide on. Like if I'm running out, I'm going to the gym, whatever. I may show those as well. But so if you guys did not know, I'm a massive Kobe fan. And so I wanted to show you guys a little bit of my sneaker collection a little bit. I have a bunch of Kobe's in these boxes, of course. We have some that don't have boxes. So any of them that you see not in boxes, it is because I don't have a box for 
for them. But, you know, we have we have a little bit of everything in here. You got some 8s, you got some 10s. You have some LeBron 16 lows over here, some Kobe 4s, some 8s, another pair of 8s. I actually wore both of these throughout uh, my high school career when I was a junior and senior. For varsity basketball, these are a couple of the pairs I would wear. I also wore these for home games. We wore black and gold. These look like crap now because they're old and I had friends that would borrow them. They'd crap on them. Now they look terrible. So I do hate that they, you know, that it haven't remained in that good condition. And I had a lot of friends over the years that would borrow my shoes and then never return them. And so I, I had to, I've had to rebuy pairs. I've had to, you know, search those out and get my hands on them again. So very big headaches. But yeah, I have a bunch of these. These are a bunch of my old running sneakers and gym shoes that I don't really use anymore. I could just throw them out or give them away or something, but they're still up there. We have like some Chris Paul player editions up here. These are my Kobe 5 Dukes that have seen the light of that Jesus Christ, man. These are beat to hell. You guys can see the tears and everything in them. I wore these for travel travel basketball when I was in the 8th grade. They look really fire with our uniforms. I tried to find my jersey from that year, but I couldn't find them, but over here we have some Kyrie 5 Dukes. We have the, you know, it has the Duke logo on the tongue right there on the little fly trap seal. We have some uh, other Kyries in here. All these are my Kyries, so if you're a Kyrie Irving fan, these are all my Kyries. I have two pair of fives, and then we have four pair of sixes. I need to take all of them out, but this is just sort of a rough draft, a little rough run through. So all of these, I have my LeBrons right here. Uh, obviously, these are Kobe's, but I have all my LeBrons right here, and then you have the pair up there. I used to have more. Again, this isn't every single one that I've ever owned. I had a lot, again, that I either sold or friends borrowed and never brought back or whatever. We got some Kobe 5 Laker homes right here that are beautiful. They're kind of running out of, out of gym life. Every time I wear them, I try to wear them to the gym, and then I think, oh, they have a little bit of play in them, and then I get out on the court, and I'm sliding all over the damn place. I'm like, yeah, I probably don't need to wear these, but I usually bring two pairs to the gym just in case. We got some uh, Kobe 9 Lakers Showtimes. We got the Kobe 9 All-Stars right there. We have probably one of my favorite Kobe's of all time. We have the Kobe 6 light bulbs. Absolutely beautiful. You got the Kobe 6 blue camos. Over here, you got the Kobe 5 All-Stars, and then you, every single one of these boxes has a pair in them. I don't really, I, I honestly don't want to pull them out right now, but just giving you guys a rough look through. What I may do is do a full collection video. Let me know down in the comment section below if you guys would like a full collection video on the shoes. I really do want to do it, but I don't know. I, again, I probably, I'll probably i probably plug it in one of these vlog videos. But anyways, guys, I think I'm actually going to get onto a, uh, I think we're actually going to start like a rec league team. And if that's the case, I'll plug in some of the game footage possibly into these vlogs. And if you guys are into basketball or sports or whatever, or if you just care about my life or whatever, and you just want to see it and hang out, then I'll probably plug that in the video. But I'll probably do like some sneaker polls and stuff like on my Instagram or possibly in the comment section, let you guys pick what shoes you want me to wear in the games and stuff like that. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with that. But let me know if you guys want to see a full sneaker collection video down in the comment section or anything like that. But I think this is where I'm going to end the vlog right quick. I guess we can end it right here. Here's some Kobe 8 Nike IDs. Pretty much dead stock. Never been worn. Absolutely beautiful. I love these. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for the video. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Since this is a vlog type video, I don't know what day this is going to be posted. But anyways, guys, I'm getting the hell out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.